If you haven't completed the previous tutorial already, load up wipedit.ls to get up to speed. Here we have our warp track Vortex, but it doesn't have a very long intro, a mere 16 bars before a 32 bar breakdown. Unfortunately, the intro features a pad with a gradually opening filter on it. We need to find a section we can loop without it sounding too unnatural. Drag over bars 1 to 9 on the clip and press Ctrl or Command plus L to loop the section. Play the project back. This loop doesn't seek very smoothly. The filter movement on the pad is too obvious. Let's try a shorter section instead. Move the loop start to bar 5. This 4 bar section doesn't sound too shabby. Drag over the clip from bar 5 to bar 9 and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus D to duplicate it 4 times, giving us a 32 bar intro. This edit won't sound too incongruous when it's in the mix, so let's roll with it. While we're at it, let's cut that big breakdown in half. Drag over bars 33 to 49 and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus Backspace to delete time. Now the intro goes straight into the second half of the breakdown. This sounds okay, but we missed the big booming crash at the start of the breakdown. We can smooth the transition using Live's fades. Select fades in the track title bar and drag the fade in handle at the top right hand corner of the intro clip so that it sits at about 33.3.4. This is a long enough fade for us to hear the crash, but short enough so that we don't hear the spoken word vocal that plays shortly after it. We've completed our simple re-edit, so now all we need to do is highlight the entire track and export it as an audio file.